marine spirits, mermaids, water spirits, sirens, whatever you want to call them, are they real? And more importantly, does the Bible talk about them? In Psalms 1466, it says that God created three realms, one being the heavenlies, one being earth, and one being the sea. Now, a lot of Christians don't speak about this, maybe because they don't know, but the Bible speaks about sea monsters quite often. We know that ancient cultures always made up their gods to be some type of creature, one of them being Dagon, and he was a creature made of half fish, half men. Job 41 1 says, Can you pull in Leviathan with a hook or tie down his tongue with the rope? Now listen to this, you guys. Isaiah 27 1. In that day the Lord with his mighty sword, great and strong, will punish Leviathan the fleeing serpent, Leviathan that twisted serpent, and he will slay the reptile that is in the sea. This is God talking again in Revelation 9.13. I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, Release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. In the end days, God is going to let those four angels loose. And it says right here that they are going to wipe out one third of men. Now, what does this all mean? Hosea 4, 6 says, My people are destroyed for their lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge. The church doesn't talk about these spirits enough, but they are very much real. Marine spirits are lustful spirits. If you find yourself at night dreaming about a man and sleeping with him or sleeping with a married person or you get uncontrollable sexual urges, you're addicted to pornography, um, all of these things, you're attracted to water in a weird way, lakes, oceans, you might be dealing with a marine spirit. Now, for some reason, I feel the Holy Spirit telling me to not call it the marine kingdom anymore, but demons of the deep. Marine spirits can press single people to date married people. 